In these times, we need things that give us hope, things that inspire us. Sometimes when you make the right decision, sometimes it's not gonna be easy. Jimmy Woody is a nationally renowned artist, Columbia University graduate, and native Clevelander with a dream. My father, Jimmy Wentz Woody, purchased this building back in 1961. It became part of the fabric of this community. At that point in time, there are Black-owned businesses all throughout Cleveland. This building winds up being one of the last of its kind. I could have sold it, but I want to hold on to it. Jimmy's plan is to take his father's old store and transform the property into a space where the arts could thrive in the Harvard area. What I see right here in my dad's storefront, I want it to be a mixed-use space. You can do theater, you can shoot film, you can have art galleries and showings and dance recitals. Now, the other adjoining space where my dad's ice cream business was at, now I would like to rent that out so people in the neighborhood can come by and have coffee. I also want to do classes upstairs. As a teacher at the Cleveland High School for Digital Arts, Jimmy is used to using the arts to mold the future. And with this space, Jimmy also hopes to help mold the future of the neighborhood. Hopefully this kind of space will get some of our kids off the street. Instead of doing other things, maybe get people to be photographers, get people to be poets. And then hopefully this can become like an arts district. I've seen it happen with Tremont, and I just think that kind of energy in this building would be amazing. And after spending months clearing the building's foundation himself, Jimmy hosted an auction of the painted bricks to help raise cash. But it would be his next fundraiser that would blow Jimmy away. A friend of mine named Sequoia Bostic, she was like, why don't you start a GoFundMe? And I didn't think anything was gonna come of it. But then within the first week, it made $1,500. Then it made $2,500. And believe it or not, that same GoFundMe has continued to climb and is now at $13,000 and still open for anyone to donate. This process, even while being filled with setbacks, has encouraged Jimmy to give it all he has. Anytime when anybody's starting a business or starting a project, there's always gonna be adversity. I know both my parents who have passed away that they're looking after this building and looking after this property. And I'm just trying to build onto my father's legacy. 